Hey guys, it's TMF Style. I'm Jose Zuniga, and for this week, we have another interesting video where we're going to be comparing a higher priced item to a lower priced item. And today, we're speaking about suits. Any man can actually afford quality items, no matter the price. It really only boils down to money management and budgeting, and just how much are you interested in that item that you want. If you haven't seen that segment on budgeting for quality menswear, I have the iCard above me where you can check out that video. So to further prove our point of what we always discuss of quality over quantity, we're bringing you this video. We're, we're gonna be comparing a premium, custom, made to measure suit from Indochino. They start at $800, but once if you add a vest and, and other stuff, it can hit up to $1,000. This is their premium line that I'll be reviewing. If you buy their lower priced items, they start around $499. And we're gonna be comparing one of their high price suits to a lower priced H&M suit at $100. So let's get started. H&M is a major clothing store that opened its doors around 1947, opening its first store in Sweden. Today it has about 3,000 stores, 130,000 employees, and it's only second to Zara. In other words, it's a Goliath. And to match the needs and sales of this giant, it's brought on by two factors, low priced goods and mass production. So on top of the horrible quality, you're usually receiving glued garments that are mostly made out of polyester that comes with this price tag. The company also engages in unethical production standards. In 2013, it was said that about 200 Cambodian workers at one of their factories actually passed out. Other claims from same workers in factories around the world have been that there's harsh chemical fumes, poor ventilation, and malnutrition. And this is why we have said in previous articles that while a $30 blazer might be cheap to you, for someone else, it costs a whole lot more. So if you were not to care about ethical standards and really just care about you know yourself and how it looks and how it makes you feel, let's talk about fit. As you can see, this suit, this suit actually is really well tailored from the pants. I'm not gonna argue. I was actually a little surprised. These pants haven't even been tailored. However, the jacket is less than subpar. This is one of the biggest reasons why I don't appreciate ASOS or H&M clothing all that much because of how the fit is. Most of the times, it's very short cropped garments and what this does, it basically unbalances the proportions of a man. And instead of making you look better, it actually makes you look a little funny, like you're wearing borrowed garments or like you have really long legs. So again, it makes you look unproportionate instead of better. And as for quality, this is something that actually is very tactile and you can actually almost see with your own eyes. If you grab, let's say, this Indochino suit that I'm showing you versus this cheaper H&M suit, you can tell automatically the Indochino suit is made from Australian merino wool. It feels very luxurious, very soft, whereas the H&M, it's very cardboardy and hard and it's something you almost have to feel and I don't know if you guys can see this through the camera lens. What this cheaper fabric and sturdier fabric does is that it doesn't drape well on your body. And not only is it not gonna last you as long, at most six months to a year, but it also looks doesn't look that well. The whole point is for a suit to drape your body and actually over time shapes your body. However, this garment, since it's so hard, it probably won't happen. So now let's move on to the Indochino suit. And this is from their premium collection. If you like this suit, I'll have it linked below so you guys can check it out. And of course you can see their other stuff they have a whole range of premium collections, but if you want to start out with something a little bit less expensive, you can start with something around their $4.99 collection. Endochino was one of the first online e-tailers. It established around 2007, and coincidentally enough, it was actually my first custom or made-to-measure suit. This is the first suit I ever got made for myself. I was around, I think, yeah, I was 18 at the time, and if you want to see that video, I'll have it on the iCard. As a fair warning, it's really bad production, but if you want to check it out, the iCard is above me. So this is one of the first companies I ever tried, and like I said, it's one of the first companies that I ever established. It's probably one of the most successful made-to-measure companies there are out there. All Indochino suits are constructed using a horse hair canvassing. This does two things. It adds a beautiful natural drape to the user, and it elongates the life of the garment. All the suit's buttons are using real bullhorn buttons. The shoulder padding is from a corporation named Helsla, and they're natural fibers that actually are a little bit lighter and give the shoulder a natural line. And as for the fabric and something that's probably the most important part of a good suit, this suit is made from Australian merino wool, which is the best wool out there, and it's a Super 120s. This is the, probably the most noticeable difference. It's very tactile, and as soon as you pick up both suits, 
you really feel the difference in luxury. As for the fit, well, this is a made to measure suit. So you can, the good thing about made to measure, which I already covered, if you haven't seen that video, it'll be above me, is that you can adjust so many parameters with made to measure that you can make a garment that's properly fitted for your body. All right, so to conclude, I don't know if you guys noticed, what I tried to do is use the same outfit on both the cheap suit and the higher end suit, so it stayed fair. And really the only thing I changed was the suit itself. While it might feel good to save yourself a couple hundred bucks to begin with, further inspection really reveals how short your end of the stick really is. You're getting a fused garment that probably isn't a natural fiber, it's mostly polyester, that is really stiff and most of the times fits incorrectly, and on top of that, will only last you six months to a year of wear. And then above all of that, your bargain deal is probably costing somebody else's child his or her health. So I'm not saying to run out and buy yourself a thousand dollar suit. This video was just to give you an exaggeration of the differences. And I understand some of us can't afford dropping a thousand dollars in a suit. But like I mentioned in the beginning, good budgeting practices can really help you save towards a quality medium range suit that's produced honorably and is going to last you and look on you 10 times better. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit up the like up button. If you like this suit from Indochino, I'll have the link to the this suit. Remember, this is from their premium collection, so it's a, it is a little bit pricey. If you've never tried a custom suit, I suggest just starting a little lower. They start Their suits start at $4.99, so might as well start with one of those before you move into the premium collection. So if you guys like this video, remember to hit up the like up button. Also remember to share this video so we can reach and teach more men. Thank you guys for watching.